week for business owners planning to reopen when much of the region moves into the state's yellow phase of pandemic restrictions on Friday. Samir Nefsi joins us now live in the newsroom after talking to local business owners who are trying to prepare to open under this new norm. And Samir, still a lot of unanswered questions, right? Yeah, good evening, Sean. There are still many unanswered questions, a lot of gray areas for these businesses. However, County Executive Kathy Dahlkamp is still seeking clarification from the governor's office regarding the businesses that can open during the yellow phase. As the clock ticks down to Friday, select stores in the county are preparing to open while adjusting to a new form of operation. One area business group allowed to open, grooming services. It was great news. I mean, my groomers are super excited, super happy to get back to work. We had uh, so many customers complain that their dogs were super matted. With the resuming of business comes changes. Customers are required to wear a face mask inside the salon, maintaining social distancing and a minimal contact drop off. Owner of TLC Grooming Mike Amen says the lack of guidance has been disappointing from the state. The news was so back and forth it was super frustrating and like I said most groomers or grooming shops live paycheck to paycheck and it was, it was very difficult. And the owner of the Sassy Peacock says she's excited to open her business come Friday and optimistic with how business will go. It's hard because everything comes out of the business, like where I live, you know, your car payment, everything. So it's not like working from home where you're still getting your paycheck. You know, there's been no deposit for the last two months. Currently, they are accepting appointments for drop off items in 30 minute time frames. Customers will be required to wear a face mask and keep distant. Like many other business owners, Fredericks is nervous to see how the yellow phase will progress. They almost lead you to believe that there's a flare up with this virus again, we get shut down again, which is already making people afraid to go out. So. I guess we'll see what the next two weeks bring. And we did reach out to the Mill Creek Mall to see uh, if they are opening on Friday, May 8th. The spokesperson told us they are not commenting at this time. They are still seeking guidance from the state. Sean? Right, Samir Nefsi in the newsroom tonight. Thank you, Samir.